everybody. Welcome to the dojo. Uh, Jeff doesn't seem to be here today, so that means I'm in charge, and we're going to play Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Objection! You can't take over Rage Select. Rage Select belongs to me. Also, Your Honor, this man is guilty of murder. Murder? That's a little excessive. I just wanted to play Phoenix Wright. Besides, where's your evidence? You want evidence? Check this out. Aha! There's my evidence. Now get up. We're going to play Phoenix Wright. Michael, get up. Get up. We got to play the game. Michael, I'm goddamn excited today. It's a goddamn exciting day because because it's time for hot litigation action. The Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney trilogy is out on uh, on all the platforms, and man, we're gonna we're gonna object the hell out of some stuff today. I'm uh, ready to feel the power of an attorney. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I'm Jeff. I'm Mike. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're gonna just go ahead and jump in. So uh, God only knows that like we're we're kind of split here between like we could play one of these games for two parts or we could play one and one and then maybe one for patreon i think that's what we're gonna do because like god only knows i mean you know we'll probably be able to get through this one everybody knows what happened here right it's pretty quick actually <laughs> yeah um they're probably gonna get through some of the tutorials you know what i i am i am excited for people because there have to be people out there who have never played the phoenix Wright games before and oh my god, are you in for a treat? They're so good, people. Oh, they're so fun. I it's love them. It's been re-released as many times as Skyrim at this point, but by god, I'm happy about that. It's, it's basically it's basically a, just a visual novel, right? But yeah. uh but oh my god, there's none of this dumb like falling in love bullshit. There's a lady and she's got hit in the head. I can't get caught. Not like this. Oh, oh my god, this thing looks gorgeous on this Miles Edgeworth. Oh wait, it's not Miles Edgeworth. <laughs> <laughs> It's got the same suit, though. No, I forgot his name already. That's a pun, though. Everybody's name is a pun. Oh, yeah. I'll make it look like he did it. I think his <laughs> name is <laughs> like Mr. Dunnett or something like that. Oh, it's terrible. Something Whatever it like is. that. A lot, of, a lot of killer names are like that. Yeah. I think there's a guy just named The Killer in the second one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I yeah? remember correctly. He's like an assassin. Boy, am I nervous. I'm Phoenix Wright. Wow. Um, he's got the same voice as the guy from Dragon Ball, apparently. You know, I tried watching the uh, the Phoenix Wright anime. I liked it. Uh, and I was like, I kind of got this thing where I was like, you know, the problem here is that I already know everything that's happened. So uh, The other issue is that you, you're you used to their normal names, or not normal names, used to their English names. Right. And so the anime calls them by their Japanese names. Yeah. Which his name's like involves like a dragon, I think, in Japan. Oh, yeah. Dragon Wright. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's something dragon, something like that. Because it's supposed to be like the pun about like rising kind of thing. A favor? You mean you knew the defendant before this case? Yep. See, what's funny is that in the anime, I think it takes like 25 minutes to get to where we are right now. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. Well, that's... I'm shocked at how this looks, by the way. Yeah. I'll... I'm used to this being on my small little fucking screen on my 3DS or DS. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> shocked at how gorgeous Mia is right now. What? It's over. My life, everything, it's all over. Yes, that that would be that would be my dumbass friend. Yep. I like the way that it's the good. best dumbass friend. Everybody in this game kind of is stupid. <laughs> like everybody in this game, except for Phoenix Wright and Miles Edgeworth, is kind of a dumbass. Well, even <laughs> Phoenix is a dumbass every now and yeah, then. Yeah, it's true. The man like cross examines animals. <laughs> yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, that's that's also true. Oh no, butts. Larry butts. Yep, yep. If something stinks. Hey, it's Larry. Butts. Larry Butts. Uh, dude, I'm so guilty. Tell them I'm guilty. Wow, you're... He looks like Grant, doesn't he? He kind of looks a little bit like Grant. <laughs> Give me the death sentence. I'm afraid to... Damn, Larry, fucking <laughs> settle. It's, what? The sparkle is what he He's cries. He's a jukebox hero. He's got <laughs> stars in his eyes. Um, who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? I just forgot he calls you Nick. Uh, Nick, you gotta tell me who took my baby away. Uh, I love Larry. <laughs> I love Larry so goddamn much. You people have no idea. The newspapers say it was you. My name is Phoenix Wright, and here's the story. My first case is a fairly simple one. It's not really that simple, Phoenix. I was actually, I, I had jury duty recently. I didn't actually go into the jury, but like, you know, uh... Arrested was the unlucky sap that was dating her, Larry Butts. 
I'm sure that Larry had a great uh, uh, elementary school career. When something smells, it's usually the butts. <laughs> oh, no, no, we're all four <laughs> years old. It's usually been true. He's a knack for getting himself in trouble. I always forget that Phoenix was really young in the first one. Yeah, so it's not his fault. He just has terrible luck. So I only really ever played all the way through the first one. And I got about halfway through the second one. Really? And I think I played a little bit of the third one. The problem is that by the third one, I kind of got to the point where I didn't want to like... Like, I kind of wanted to turn on infinite object mode because I didn't want to, like, fail and then have to start over from a checkpoint. That's half the fun. Yeah? You think so? I don't know. I've played every single one of them except for... Or I've beaten every single one of them except for three of them. Uh -huh. And two of them is because they never came out in America. Yeah. And one is because I lost the save data midway through the game. <laughs> I always wanted to play the Edgeworth game. The first uh, one's really good. The second one, like I said, I never played because it didn't come out in America. Max Payne. Jeez. His, <laughs> he really... He, it's very different now. No, nah, he didn't age well. <laughs> Max Payne became a lawyer after the events of Max Payne 3. And he has a brother. Yeah. <laughs> this is your first trial, is it not? Uh, yes, your honor. I'm... The other thing is, I think that um, I think that Phoenix's hair really works better when it's not moving around. <laughs> when I was watching the anime, I was like, oh, no. Oh, I guess I give you that. <laughs> like, the live action one did a pretty good job with it. That's true. That's true. Live action one is still the best video game movie ever. Absolutely. Uh, 100 goddamn percent. Yeah. I will fight anybody else who says <laughs> otherwise. <laughs> Even though they, they, they put up these giant screens, you know, so that people can, like, throw stuff at each other. Well, the amazing thing about that movie is you could probably get through most of this game yep. based on the shit that happens in that movie. Oh, yeah. If you watch that movie, you know exactly what, what you got to do here. Like, it skips, I think, like the third case. What's the defendant? His name is Larry Butts. The defendant. That's Larry Butts. <laughs> I like the way when he nods that his beard stays exactly where it is. <laughs> he's like, he's glued his beard to his tie. His tie clip goes through his beard. Also, good for the judge being a judge as long as he is. Yeah. Tell me the victim's name. Ooh. I think there's only like two judges in the entire game. <laughs> it's good that, you know, this is like, you know, you go to a restaurant and there's somebody that's like training a new hire or whatever. <laughs> you wouldn't really think this would be the thing where the, the judge is like, now, Mr. Wright, who's the name of the defendant? You, you, you know this. You know this. We practiced earlier. <laughs> Phoenix, are you absolutely sure you're up to this? You weirdo. Wait a minute. Is she on the wrong side? No, she's to the right of you. Oh. Uh, okay, but isn't that the isn't that the judge behind there? No, no, that's the witness that's box. That's the witness okay. box. Yeah, I know the victim. Jesus Christ, <laughs> Phoenix, did you take the bar exam or not? <laughs> <laughs> he took the three day bar exam. Oh yeah. no, he took. That. <laughs> Look, I took the online bar exam, and I watched a lot of YouTube while I was doing it. I printed it out. It's on my it's on my desk right Check now. Check the court record. Boom, that's my badge. I want one of those though. One of those attorney badges. Yeah, I would love to have one of those. Yeah, is that kind of like wanting like a uh, like a um, a cop badge? Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> I think I just mean like in general, I want one. Like Cinder Block. Cindy Stone. It's not Cinder Block. Because she was murdered by a stone. Get it? Yeah. Yeah. This game's full of puns, by the way. Oh yeah. And it was somebody's job to translate pun, translate it to make a pun the work. <laughs> it was. A, I don't even need to look at it. I don't even look at it, Your Honor. I've already done this case four times. Oh so. my God. I love doing this case over and over again. I watched the anime. I watched the movie. I played the game, and now I'm doing it a fourth time. So. Yeah. <laughs> hey, can I just? Can I just? Can we just? Can we just go right to the trial? Because I already know all the answers. I don't feel relaxed, that's for sure. But Out of all the games, I think the only one I didn't really care for was Apollo Justice. Uh-huh. Because I only remember the first and the last case well, and the other two not so well. Yeah. The victim was struck with a blunt object. Would you explain to the court just what that object was? It was a clock. The statue of the thinker. Yep. It was also a clock. Yep. Larry made it. He's a pretty a spoiler talented alert. guy. <laughs> It's rather heavy. I would hope so. Put a lot of work in that thing. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. It's the only ammunition you have in court. Use the R1 button. You can check it out. Look, see? Look, it's a statue. It's rather heavy. Here's everybody that we're talking about. Cindy Stone. Winston Payne. I forgot what his brother's name was. I think he's in the third one. Yeah. Something like that. He's got like a pompadour. Who's strange. the lady with the whip? 
We'll, probably, uh, we'll see her in the second one. Yeah, we'll see her before we're done. Oh, what the hell's her name? Is this the one where uh uh the se- is the second one the one where it's like you have to like look into people's hearts with psychic powers? Yes. And like unchain their memories. Unchain the memories. Well, it's not really unchaining memories. You just gotta like keep them from blocking their secrets. Yeah. That way, it's very strange, but I love wow, it. I want that shirt. The one that Larry is. Yeah. See, that's what I would buy from this game. Ah! Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he turns like immediately. <laughs> oh, my God. None of those ended well, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Larry. She just wasn't taking my phone calls or seeing me ever. What to do you? You're on trial, Larry. Larry, you're on trial. <laughs> God damn it, Larry. Uh, Larry's the best. She had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men. She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I gotta say that, like, of all the games in the world, Phoenix Wright might have some of the best sound design. Absolutely. Like, between the, just the, the, the crashes and uh, the music. This is in Paris, yep. Passport. Like, you feel like, you feel everything that everyone says when they lose their shit. Yeah, like no matter what it is, if it's Larry or the person who's guilty, or just Phoenix like slamming the fucking table before he's gonna tell you some shit. Yep, she had several sugar daddies. Also, fuck Edgeworth, that motherfucker. <laughs> Every time I was like, I'm getting somewhere. He's like, No, you're not, bitch. I was like, What the fuck? <laughs> Miles Edgeworth is the greatest boss in all of video games. I love Edgeworth though. <laughs> like, I I love I have a love hate relationship with Edgeworth, dude. I love that character, but man, I hate when he fucks me over as much as possible. <laughs> what do you think of her now? I don't think you want him to answer that question. Uh-oh, it's almost time. Everybody get ready to take a shot. Or don't. I mean, depending on how old you are. Uh, should I? Stop, Stop it from him. answering. I love this part. The client has no idea. The question is irrelevant to this case. I thought he was going to object. Oof, wince, ow! Your legal powers are hurting me! <laughs> God damn it, Larry! Fucking Larry. Did you think he called her a she dog in the original Japanese, or was it their word for bitch? I don't know. Like, I would have to be there for that. <laughs> yeah, when I meet her in the afterlife, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Larry! Larry. Shut up, Larry! I'd like to have my client restrained and gagged please. I love the other answer though because the other one he tries pantomiming to him is like tell the truth yeah and he's like what do you say <laughs> yes quite oh boy you went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder gulp hey <laughs> well maybe I did and maybe I didn't god damn it Larry that's Come not Larry. how this works <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just oh wait, no, just, this is the one where he pants a vibe. So ha- answer. I know. I'll send, I'll him, send a him a signal. Tell the truth. <laughs> That's not. Nobody understands what you're saying. Oh well, I guess Larry understood <laughs> it. Known each other forever. Yep. Order. Don't tell the judge to chill, Larry. Oh I wow! Out of his objection. Your objection sucks, Winston. Lying. I'd like to call a witness who could provide Mr. Uh oh. There comes fucking uh oh. The man who found the victim's body just before making the gruesome discovery. He saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. This is rabble, rabble, rabble. It's a piece of carrots. Piece of carrots. So piece of carrots. Uh, the prosecution may call its witness. Yes, Your Honor. Uh oh. No, no, Phoenix. It's fine. We're gonna make him. We're gonna. We're gonna object until he goes crazy. Mike, oh, saw it. His Frank name saw, saw it. it. <laughs> saw it to the stand. Uh, oh, this guy. Oh, I want him to stop doing that immediately. I really <laughs> want him to stop doing that. He's going to do it the entire time. Newspapers. Yes. I already don't believe him. What a horrible, horrible man. All right. Witness testimony. All right. What do you got? Going door to door, selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing the apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment. And I saw her lying there. A woman, not moving, dead! I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. 
However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. The man who ran was without a doubt the defendant sitting right over there. Hmm. How did you know what time it was? <laughs> Larry. Damn it, Larry. Well, yeah, you can, Fees. Come on, believe yourself. Why wasn't the why wasn't the phone in the uh, victim's apartment working at the time of the murder? There was a blackout in the building. Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. <laughs> the phone that Miss uh, Mister Saw it used was one of those. Wait, now did he use that phone? I thought he said he went to the park. Well, he did because because it didn't work. Oh, but he, he, said he said he didn't go into the apartment. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. The electricity Miss Stone building was out from noon to six p.m. on the day of the crime. All right. Er, yes, yes, Your Honor. All right, we're, you're right across. Fix. <laughs> Do you even know how this works? Were you like yesterday? You worked at a Seven Eleven, and you're just like, I want to be a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lawyer. I know what cross examination means. I watched a lot of YouTube videos on how to be a lawyer. You exposed the lies in the testimony. Lies. What? He was lying. Your client is innocent, right? Then that witness must have lied. Or is your client really guilty? How do I prove he's not? You know what? You know what? Part of um, part of the reason that I love these games so much might be because I'm really kind of a sucker for like, uh, like courtroom drama movies. But I hate Law and Order, so you know, <laughs> there's that. Well, because Law and Order is only like partly court dramas. Yeah. Presented and rub it in the witness's face. I love these games because it makes me think in a different way. Yeah. Like, it's like, I think I'm really good at my job purely because of this game, <laughs> this game series, because it's a lot of like think in different ways. If something isn't like, if something isn't what it is, then think about it the other way. Okay. The game's really good about that. I was going door to door signing subscriptions when I saw a man playing the apartment. I thought he must be. Now, can we like go? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Be because he left the door left half right. open behind him. Think it's strange. I looked inside the apartment and I saw her lying there, a woman not moving, dead. Quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside, right? Thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. Wait, do we do it on. Well, I we didn't, should press I them on one of them. Found myself unable to go inside. Because how did you know the phone didn't work if you didn't go inside? I mean, no, nothing. Okay, what happened next? Wait. Did we... Well, we have to press them on... Not that one, but the this one. Or not this one, the one after it. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. Is this the one? Okay. Yeah. Hold it! I mean, no. No, it wasn't, right? But you said you didn't go into the apartment. Or did you? Oh, I can explain. Uh, he's going to add something to it. It's a cordless phone on a shelf in the entryway. I reached inside and tried using that to call. That phone wasn't working, correct? What happened next? Went to a nearby park and a public phone. I remember the time exactly. Let's. How do you know which time it was? 1 p.m. Are you certain? This is absolutely. Hmm. Seems really confident. Doesn't that seem strange to you? Present some evidence. So this oh, is where we present. Coroner's report? No, we present. Well, actually, let's see which let's what see. the coroner's report says. Time of death, 4, 4 to 5 p.m. So yeah, that There we go. Work. Present. Objection. <laughs> you found the body at 1 p.m. You're sure? <laughs> yes, it was 1 p.m. Well, how do you... Uh... <laughs> Frankly, I find that hard to believe. <laughs> oh, my God. I love yeah, that song. Yeah, it corrects the autopsy report. <laughs> Songs like crack people. <laughs> yeah. The autopsy notes the time of death sometime after 4 p.m. and there was nobody to, or er, no body to find at 1 p.m. How do you explain this three hour gap? <laughs> oh my god, I love this game so fucking much. People have no idea. Uh, this is trivial. The witness merely forgot the time. <laughs> the judge says, no, no, sir. <laughs> no, sir, Bobby. Why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? Uh, uh, well, uh, uh, gee, that's a really good question. <laughs> uh, I, you know, I, I'm almost certain, Michael, that, that this is not how the Japanese uh, court system works. <laughs> but, like, if it is, I mean, I feel like at this point, 
uh, th th this shit doesn't fly. Like, uh, no court could work like this, right? No, Where no. The guy's really. just like, uh, uh, wait a minute. No, I changed my story. I remember. I didn't remember before, but now I'll try to say it again. <laughs> yeah, I love how they constantly change the story in the middle of everything. Yeah. And it's like, just, come on, dude, really? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. You have to take, like, a statement. All right. But also, most courtrooms don't let you accuse the witnesses of murder. <laughs> right. <laughs> and let everything go through There was a voice saying at the time. It was probably coming from the television. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess this victim must have been watching a videotape program. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. You motherfucking idiot. You dumb the motherfucker. The, the power was out. You said it before. That's why you couldn't use the phone. Ooh. You dense motherfucker. Ooh, you idiot. God, I don't even want to. I don't even want to look at your fucking stupid face. Quit <laughs> making your shoulders do that. I heard the time. There's a voice. It probably come from the television. No. From the telly. No. Objection. No. <laughs> Hold it right there, motherfucker. <laughs> I wish there was a mod to make like a lot more profanity in this game. There probably is one going to be now because I think it's going to be on PC or something. Oh, it is. Yeah. This record proves it. Uh, you couldn't have heard a television or a video. Duh. Duh. Uh, wait a minute. I mean, uh, I looked at my watch. Like, come on. Mistrial. Mistrial already. <laughs> He's just constantly <laughs> changing his story. Yep. Ah, uh, wait. I uh, remember now. Court prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning. You're so lenient with him, and with me, I only got three strikes, and then it's over. <sighs> yeah, this, this court system's so fucked. <laughs> yeah, you seem rather distraught. Uh, also, like, according to the world of this game, not many defense attorneys actually win. Yeah? It's just kind of fucked. Must have been the shock of finding the body. Oh, what? Let's hear your testimony once more, please. Oh, God damn it. Let's motherfucker. How many stories are we going to let him make up, judge? <laughs> Dismiss it. <laughs> I didn't hear the time. I saw it. There's a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. That must have been what I saw. Okay. Come on, dude. Really? You saw a clock? I guess that would explain it. Wait, did you go? You didn't go into the place, did you? Well, even if he didn't, how would he know it was a clock? <sighs> we know it's a clock. We know it's a clock. Because we That's beat true. this game. Yeah. Plenty of times now. There's a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Let's see. Do I have a. Well, I don't know if you can I think we have to, like, that one. press him a little bit? Yeah. Was there a clock at the scene? It's the first I've heard of it. <laughs> Thank you, Judge. Thank you. The killer used it to hit the way. The table clock that was used as the weapon. That's what I just said. Did you doze off? Something's fishy. Incredibly. Wait, can so I like? It'll be on the the other one. What's that? He presented on the last one. He said. Oh, this one. This one. You're gonna present. Yeah. Present the clock. Wait just a minute. Hold it right there, you motherfucker. You dense ass motherfucker. <laughs> the murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was a statue. The statues aren't clocks. <laughs> oh, my God. Ah. Oh, that song. Oh, you I with your objections song. and your evidence. Just who do you think you are? <laughs> Fuck you. You're in contempt of court. Judge, what are you doing letting him talk to me like that? I love the end your evidence. <laughs> <laughs> Answer the question. Hey, I, I saw it there, okay? That's a clock. Your Honor, if I may, <laughs> witness stated that the statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch. You just tilt it, and it says the time out loud. As it doesn't look like a clock, I submit it as a statue. My you all have made a mockery of this court. <laughs> you guys are fucking ridiculous. <laughs> this is the worst court of all time. What are you? What are you just like halfway? Oh, oh, by the way, it turns out it was a clock as well. Like, okay, was there no discovery at this point? <laughs> Like, motherfuckers. Everyone fucks up constantly. Do you this. have any problems with testimony now? Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the only way he could have the weapon was a clock was to hold it in his hand. Yet the witness testified that never entered the apartment. Which one was it, Mr. Sawit? Clearly, he's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the witness knew it was a clock because he well, at least knew when the it, victim no, he went, went into the, the apartment. apartment. Don't you dare say he knew the victim. You're lying. <laughs> you were inside the apartment on the day of the murder. What? Oh, no. Prove I went in there. I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her. I can prove you're a bitch. <laughs> you know what? Murderer, motherfucker. I want to see somebody film this. 
like 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 an American an American style. It would be the most ridiculous thing. Like <laughs> what 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 rabble rabble rabble. Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Oh, Mr. Sutt. The sound must have left quite an impression on you. Uh, understandable, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim. That voice was burned into your mind. I'm just That's jamming to the song, so by the way. So certain about the time. Ah, uh, no! What? What's the meaning of this? Well, if you guys could make shit up, I could make shit up too! <laughs> Baseless conjecture. Baseless? Just look at the witness's face! <laughs> this is when he throws the hairpiece at him. Would the, would the uh, witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim? Are you guilty of murder, witness? I would that day. I never. Look, I, uh, the clock heard no. I mean, I saw. Shut up, shut up, shut up. I hate you. It's not a good defense. It was him, I tell you. I saw him. He killed her and he should burn, burn. Give him the death. <laughs> rabble, 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 rabble. <laughs> I love that so much. Order of the court, I say. All right. <laughs> Shrevin Evans supporting the defense claims. You claim the sound of the witness heard came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? Oh, case is riding on this. I better think carefully. The sound just saw it heard was definitely this clock. The fact which is clear if you simply sound the clock. Try sounding the clock. Yeah. So it looks like you get a little bit more than three three shots. I couldn't tell. But it seems to like take off a couple here and there. Beep. I think it's 825. It's a strange way to announce the time. I fucking love this song <laughs> so much, by the way. Well, he is the thinker after all. So you've heard the clock. What are your conclusions? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is now? It's 1125. Ack! As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely the discrepancy between what Mr. Saw had heard and the time of the actual death. Bam. Try to tuck your way out of this one. Don't don't let him do that. Like, like <laughs> mistrial. My friend is not guilty. The witness is excused. This court is adjourned. You forgot one thing. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's a battle of wits between the defense and, like, the witness. Well, it may <laughs> seem that the clock is running three hours slow. It proves nothing. How do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? If you can't prove that, you don't have a case. Ah, he's right. <laughs> How am I going to prove it? In the most bullshit possible way. I was so close. Seems you lack the critical evidence to support your claim that this witness is a murderer. <laughs> and he's clearly not lying to us. Yes, Your Honor. This means I cannot let you indict the witness of murder. <laughs> Seriously, that's <laughs> ridiculous. I love this fucking like, series so much. Even if it even if it works. All the way down here to testify. Look what happens. I rip off my hairpiece. <laughs> Treat me like a criminal. A criminal. Only a criminal sells newspapers. You lawyers are all slime. Grr. I almost had him. Sorry, Larry. I failed you. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> I guess you'll... You, but, like, his whole story is full of holes. How can the, the... How can they accept his story at this point? Like, it doesn't... Just because you can't convince that Mr. Saw it did, it doesn't mean that his testimony... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think. It's over. I can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder. Fuck, Nobody I can can't. prove that. <laughs> Nobody, not even God, can prove it. <laughs> Try thinking outside of the box. Don't waste time doubting the fact. Assume the clock was three hours slow and think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out the reason. You'll have the proof. Right? Right? <laughs> can you think of a reason as to why the clock would be three hours slow? Yes, I can. She was damn right traveling into goddamn New York. It was a different time zone. Oh, yeah, I forgot it's supposed to be New York. <laughs> you must have evidence to somewhere that can prove it. Find it. Let him have it. What do you got? You say the clock was running slow on the day of the murder? Found evidence to support this claim? Of course. There's a piece of evidence. Uh, somewhere. Uh, uh, I got <laughs> four pieces of paper. <laughs> Boom. Murder. Yep. Let's see this evidence that proves why the clock was running slow. 
Sip doop doop. Passport. Ye- Paris. She was in Paris, not yeah. New York. Paris. Well, she was coming back here. Yes. It's L.A., I think. Oh, is that where this is? I based? think it's supposed to be in L.A. It's supposed Ameri- to be in Los Angeles. American wise, it's like L.A. or something. Oh, Jesus. The victim had just returned home from abroad the day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is nine hours. But it's 4 p.m. here. It's 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock wasn't three hours slow. It was nine hours fast. It's from the future. <laughs> the victim had reset her clock since returning home. That's why the time you heard when you struck her dead in her apartment was wrong. Proof enough for you, Mr. Saw it, Or should I say Mr. Did it? Like a bitch. Good <laughs> dirt. Go! Is he getting ready to, like, oh, he, he, yeah, had he a, just passes he out. He had a fit. There's some great fucking freakouts. Oh, in yeah. This game. Some of them freak out so good. Oh, dude, the one from part five at the very end, that one's fucking insane. Oh, I don't know. Holy shit. I remember almost dropping my 3DS when the whole <laughs> fucking thing went down. It's fucking amazing. Your witness, he, uh, he was arrested and taken away, Your Honor. He was arrested and taken away because of, like, a bunch of bullshit. Because. She was on vacation. Like, that was the glitch pin? <laughs> yes, Your Honor. I have to say, I'm impressed. Okay. You bullshitted your way to victory. I think I've ever seen a people. <laughs> I've seen someone complete a defense so quickly with such made-up horseshit. <laughs> That's the best thing about Phoenix, right? It's 90% made-up horseshit. Yep. Yeah, thank you, Your Honor. At this point, this is only formality, but this court finds defendant Mr. Larry Butts. Not... Guilty! Confetti time! Yay! Have a party! We're having a party, everybody! Woo! I love that so much. <laughs> I love the movie version, too. Yeah, it's just like a lady throwing, like, random pieces of paper in the air. <laughs> Yay! All right! It turns out that Frank Saw was a common burglar. Posed a newspaper salesman to check when people were out of the house that day. Uh, when Larry went to see the apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Saw let himself in to do the dirty work. Oh, no. What work was he doing? Oh, he was stealing shit. The victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Solid grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. He smacked her in the head. Ow. The thing that's weird about this, though, is that there's still, like, this weird this weird cognitive dissonance where everybody's super happy that, like, Larry is is free. But, like, you know, somebody's still got murdered, right? Well, that's like, every ending of something in one of these games. His ex-girlfriend still got fucking beaten to death. By a by a statue that he made by a newspaper robber? I st- I don't know, it's a little strange. Yeah, every every sort of trial ends that kind of way. <laughs> we did it! But somebody still died. We did it. <laughs> oh, he's back to being a jukebox hero. Oh no, that's right. He's Do you have to you have to make him happy by proving That's right. That, Good. Uh, Wait, that no, he, I mean bad, bad, him. bad. Larry, you're innocent. The case is closed. But my Sydney Whitney's gone, man. Gone forever. She was a... Nah, never mind. Wait, what? <laughs> what was that all about? He was just going to say that she didn't care. <laughs> Probably Harry. not care about him. Yes, you. I can practically see the headlines oh, now. That's right. She gets his Harry Butts, on. innocent. Uh, uh, wait, does his sleeve... Yeah, he's like sort like of like... Over twirling his... it back and... Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, you can't tell because the way it's there. Can we, but like, he's going hide? like this with his arm and the sleeve's just going like this. Oh, uh, okay. You can barely see it there. It's the one who got you off the hook. Here, take this. It's a present. Wait, wasn't this the... uh, No, it's like, no, this is the other one that I made. One for her and one for me, because I'm a weirdo. (laughs) You weirdo. He's such a... impressive. That's pretty impressive for him. He's such a goober. I love him. No, he just glued a... (laughs) <laughs> like he just glued the thinker on top of a clock. No, but he made the cl- he made the clock work by switching its head and everything. Well, that's he made true. two of them. Yeah. Did like, that he probably had to record better? that voice on it. Are you so sure? Excuse me. <laughs> I forgot when this game was made as well. <laughs> it was like early two thousands. Yeah. When somebody could say "excuse me" and it was like, it wasn't totally okay, but it wasn't totally like. What? <laughs> Larry can totally say excuse me and get away with it, though. Do you have something to show your friend? Something that proves how she felt about him? Huh? Oh, yeah. Right. She's talking about the... The thinker. The thinker, man. Yeah, it's just she, heavy as fuck. She took this shit to fucking... The reason that it was... Why is positive capitalized in proof positive? I think it's because it's a saying or something. Uh, 
Well, she she took the clock with her to Paris, you numb nuts. That's why the time was wrong. She's taking it all around with her. Why would she take this heavy ass clock? Why would she take this dumb fucking clock that talks? <laughs> yeah. In fact, the fact that th th this is definitely a period piece because God only knows TSA ain't let you on the plane with no talking giant heavy ass clocks now. Yeah. Definitely not. <laughs> hope that made him feel better. I hope that made his girlfriend's gruesome murder better. Hope you realize things could change depending on how you look at them. People, too. We never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we do is... You know what I want? You know what I really want, Michael? I want the uh, I want the Quintesson version of Phoenix Wright, where instead of the judge, it's one of the Quintessons from the Transformers, the movie. <laughs> you know, the guilty or innocent guys. <laughs> I'd be cool with that. Yeah. All right. Never let go of what you believe in. Well, I think we're done here. Should we leave? I guess so. How about dinner on me? We'll drink a toast to innocent butts. Uh, speaking of Harry, you were the same part of... Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Maybe over drinks. Maybe. And maybe not. Oh, no, folks. Well, hey, uh, thanks, everybody, for watching the first Phoenix Wright. We're going to be back tomorrow with the second one, part two. Uh, and if you want to see all three, you need to be a Patreon. You can do that at patreon.com forward slash rage select. Uh, also got some shirts at rage select.com forward slash store. Or you can go to rage select and hit the store button. And you can say Amazon links. Uh, actually, probably not for this game, but they'll be somewhere on the website. Buy things through Amazon from uh, for us through our links, and we get money for it. Uh, you would think that that was that was the end. It's a happy ending. Harry Butts got off, and uh, everything is fine. But fucking red, white, and blue. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We'll watch the very beginning of this. Uh, yeah, so all that, and then you can find Michael at uh, on One of Us, right? As well as yes. uh, sometimes on Geek Bombast. Yes. Geek Bombast come back yet? Not sure yet. You're still doing stuff? Um, yeah. Oh, jeez, that hurts. <laughs> oh, jeez, ow. Hello, this is Maya. Hey, Maya, it's me, Mia. I like how it has the question marks, even though it says that what her name was. Yeah. <laughs> well, lonely, and it's all your fault. Nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm fun. Wait, what was that? What was that about? Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. Do you want me to hold evidence for you? Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. So what is it this time? It's a clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like that statue, the thinker, and even tells you the time. Uh... Oh, I thought we were going to get to the murder part, but... It, I, it's like right after this part. Okay. I don't, I don't want these videos to be just, like, gargantuanly long. Uh, wait, hold on. What There's doesn't a... show the murder in this one? Oh, yeah? Like, it, or at least not, like, him. Actually, does it? I don't remember. I don't remember either. It's been a while. So we're if, just going to we're just gonna, right gonna look. Yeah, you find the body first. Oh, okay. And then, like, it's just sort of, like, you know who did it. Oh, no, no, this is it. Oh, this is the murder, yeah. Yeah. Must be the thinker that swallowed these papers. How could you know? Ho ho, ho ho! Like a douchebag. You are not configure uh, con, con coniferous. I don't know what the you fuck that. I don't know what that means. Is my business? You see, I should have been more careful. Ho ho, my dear Miss Faye. I'm very sorry, but I'm afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell. Ah, uh, Mia, no! Why does we keep having this statue around? I fucking hate that guy. Ah, uh, so son of a bitch. Well, you want to find out what happened to uh, Mia and get some justice, some real justice? Well, you're just going to have to go play Phoenix Wright for yourself, uh, which you should totally do. Also, you should join us back here tomorrow for part two. We'll see you then.